Giga the gang. Hey, it's your boy Nizzle, man. I'm at allhiphop.com. You know what's going on. You know who's running the city. Wait. What's the word, shit, man? Slap shot, you for allhiphop.com. Corner at One World Studios right here in Times Square. Right here, I have a very, very special guest. Let the people Wait. know who you are, bro. You know what it is. Get the gang, gang, gang. It's your boy Nizzle, man. Staten America. I'm in the building. White. What's the word, man? How you been? Been booling, bro. What's been? Right, exactly. I think. All right, then. So this is a month apart from my last one. Yeah, yeah. And you have made a lot of moves in that month. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah it was a rollout. Yeah. I mean, you was part of that. You know what I mean, I appreciate you that. Part of that um, rollout plan and getting the um, what I want to say, the mass mm -hmm. to um, be aware of the Nizzle Man brand and what we about to do. To the, um, for the city and with the city you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that I think that's something that the world should know about and stuff like nice. that so um, alright then so between then and then can you take us through some of the moves and stuff like that you've had some dope singles some dope premieres yeah. some dope rollouts yeah. and a blue check like it's Ooh. been a whirlwind yeah, so nah, can you take yeah. us through it walk us through it Um, pretty much I feel like you was there you was there for like mm. like the creation of a couple records even records that you was mm. in the studio for but mm -hmm. um when you when you did the when we did the last interview we was in in a prep preparation for rolling out snakes uh -huh. and then we had um already had did the record with uh, my bro swipey uh -huh. the, um that's going crazy right now they're heading to the bank uh -huh. so i think that um from then and now we we uh -huh. gathered like assets together uh -huh. like for both records uh -huh. we gathered the assets together uh -huh. and we still stayed outside we we were still like fluent what we were doing like uh -huh. we dropped snakes like from like the ground i feel uh -huh. like we just came out with it we had people anticipated we dropped snakes it, it, it went rival bt picked it up mm -hmm. and i think it kind of wowed bt as well like yo like this just came from an independent source like mm -hmm. and the quality of it like shout out for nem she directed it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i just felt like that's what like set me like to another level and then you know in the midst of that cj record took off mm -hmm. from staten island like and now it's like yo hold on Staten Island got something. Yeah. Then when people search, they even if they accent in the streets or uh, through the internet or whatever's going on, mm -hmm. you're gonna hear his name or my name. So I, I just feel like now it's time for me to represent and step up to like what what I've been working for. Like mm -hmm. so it's now the eyes is on us. So that was dope. All right. So speaking of Staten Island, right? Um, yeah. when I posted the interview, one of the related videos that came out, that I had no idea. You did a song with Shaheen. Oh yeah, that's yes. my big bro. And like, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you was tuned in when I took over BET mm -hmm. like a couple of days ago. He was my first, my um, my first person guest I brought in because mm -hmm. like I wanted to show like my timeline where I came from. I didn't want people to feel like like yo, you this, came out of nowhere. this was just overnight. overnight. Yeah. So like, in two thousand and eight. Mm -hmm. Is when me like uh, I met Shaheem from Franny. Franny mm -hmm. linked me and Shaheem up at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I met him. I told him like, yo, I'm. <laughs> you know, you know the regular pitch. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to go? Wu Tang, Staten. Mm -hmm. It just made sense. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't hear from him for like six months, bro. I'm gonna keep it a band, like mm -hmm. nothing. Like I was like, all right, whatever. I was at work, mm -hmm. like really working. And he called me. He's like, yo, come to the studio. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I right. I asked my boss at the time, and he knew I was rapping. I'm like, y'all can I go? He's like, yeah, it's Shaheem, it's Wu Tang. Yeah. I went there, and we did the Mama I Killed a Man record. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, bro, like, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened with that. Two months passed. He called me to come back. He said, you'll come back to the studio. Mm. And I jumped on a, he just like, he just put a verse. It was, it happened to be on the Staten Island record. If y'all looked that up on YouTube, it got over a hundred, like a hundred thousand back then. Like, and that's mm. when I first hit like a couple of platforms I've never been on either. Mm. Like, but I did the rec the verse on that. I'm the, I'm the last verse on it. I was young, 14, like, and, and, and it stood out. So from that record, mm. I think he got like good rapport from me. Mm. Like what people were saying, like, uh, like I don't know. Mm. So then he's like, yo, we doing the Mama I Killed the Man joint. We went out to Boston, we, we did that video. Mm. Like everything was going. Then Lil' Kim called, like, yo, I want y'all to do that record on the All Access tour. Like, so we went, we d we were the first show was in the Bronx. I think it was at the Coliseum. Like, mm. it was like 4,000 people. Franny was in Atlanta. Mm. Like, I just popped up on stage. They started calling her phone. Yo, yeah, brother, because it was a lot of Staten Island people there. Mm. <laughs> so, like, I met DJ Self, rest in peace, Fred the Godson that mm. night. I met a lot of people before. Like, mm. I met, I was sitting in a little Kim mm. dressing room. I felt like, yo, what if she come out naked or something? <laughs> she see me, like, yeah. shy, like, yo, you good. Like, yeah. don't worry. She came out. 
gave him wild love, gave me love. Then Eve popped in. I seen Eve. That was the first time I seen Eve in person, bro. Like, yeah. I ain't know what to think. Like, yeah. bro, like, <laughs> your word to me, I ain't know what to think, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I seen the paw prints. Like, I was just like, yo, what? <laughs> then what Missy Elliott, see on TV. Missy wow. Elliott was right behind her, bro. Just, like, uh, coming to Kim yeah. Lock. I said, nah, bro, but I stayed in my place. I ain't going to fuck. I said, what <laughs> up? Quite, but yeah. I, I was like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, nah. You starstruck? I, I guess that's what <laughs> going, bro. Like, I'm young, bro. And yeah. it's like, I'm going from Staten Island to this. And I'm looking at Shy like Wu Tang is the biggest thing out of Staten Island, period. Yeah. He was definitely a part of it. That's like, a fact. doing what he's doing. So, like, now, that's when I met Lil Vicious walking up to our joint, uh. pumped into him. And I'm, I'm like, no, 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 freak. I'm, I, yo, I grew up, I'm like, yo, what? And then, like, I was acting scared, bro. Mm. He like, yo, bro, you on the bill. Like, you could run around here. Like, he took me <laughs> around the whole building, bro. We, mm. He took me. I'm like, yo, I heard Cassidy here. You mm. know what I mean? He like, <laughs> you want me, Cass? Busting his his room. Mm. Nigga, Cass doing 100 push-ups. Mm. I said, I'm like, yo, what up, young boy? I'm like, yo, not me. Yeah. Fan shit, bro. Because like I said, first, I'm a fan first. Mm. Bro, I'm a fan of music first. That's how I got the love to do it. Mm. So, like, it's people that's still, like, I'm going to see and I'm going to tell them. Like, once I get that out the way, then it's over with. <laughs> but, like, I mean, that was my, that's how I linked with Shaw. And, like, Shaw was the first person to put me, like, I guess, like, uh, he tried to break the stigma mm. of, like, Staten Island not having other things going on unity and, you know, and the stuff shit that happened with him yeah that's a fact all right then cool so um <clears throat> now you um you already talked about like um staten island's buzz and things of that nature right yeah. um so do you see like do you see it like creating like a wave like between like you and Caesar? do you see like this a wave coming it. this how i see it bro uh -huh. and i'm gonna be like honest as possible mm -hmm. i see it like when we look back uh -huh. Cause like we got different sounds. We got we we like even shout out Drewski for like trying to put like a, a, a like a cap on this where it came from, what's mm -hmm. going on. Cause me and him chopped it up on that takeover as well. Mm -hmm. And like this, how I feel like when you link a Brooklyn drill, mm -hmm. because it obviously it's not it's not UK grime, it's not any of that. It's called Brooklyn drill. Like what mm -hmm. Pop did and what everybody did. Like mm -hmm. Brooklyn has they five main artists. Whoever whatever you say it is, whoever you say it is, but mm -hmm. there's gonna be like. Amongst the mass, mm -hmm. five names that get thrown out, whether it's 5 e Pop, like whoever you go down the line, Rowdy, mm -hmm. however you do it, it's going to be like a five main names and then it's going to be like the, the, the like not, not the bench plays, but like the people that's like holding that down as well. Mm -hmm. And that and that's Brooklyn. Yeah. So if I was from Brooklyn right now, mm -hmm. I feel like, not to say I wouldn't matter, mm -hmm. but this wouldn't even matter because it's like, all right, we've seen it. We've yeah. seen it all before, bro. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, Prior to CJ, and mm. that's why I'll even speak of his name because there ain't no beef. Mm. Like, prior to his record doing what it did, mm. you have to respect it now because now it's a Staten Island drill sound. Like, yeah. now when you be like, yo, what's Staten Island drill? Yeah. You might look at CJ and yeah. then somebody be like, yo, I don't like that. It ain't true to it. Yeah. Whatever the comments is that's going on, like, yeah. it ain't in the streets or whatever. Who else out there? Oh, shit. That's who, all right, hold on. Let me fact check him. Oh, wait. Mm. All right, bro, like, tunes is there. And that's what I, I think what, what just happened was mm. we about to have the next year to run and give Staten Island story now. Mm. So now next year when they telling about it, they're like, yo, this is this how Brooklyn did it, this Staten Island. And then, I, now I mean, maybe to trickle on to the next borough because that's mm. the only way to honestly keep New York City alive. Because mm. right now, like, Brooklyn's not saturated, yeah. but it's a sound. Yeah. Like, you, if you from Brooklyn, got the, um, you living got in their Brooklyn. Own sound too, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Sound. So if you yeah. living there, yeah. you sound like it. It's not nothing like, oh, I'm trying to sound like this person. That's uh, just your life. That's yeah. why that person from your area that blew it resonated uh, with you yeah. because that was your life. Uh, so now, when whatever whatever you're saying about CJ, some people may be saying like, oh, it sound like this. Uh, All right, well, let's see if Nizzle sound like this. All right, well, that's how Nizzle sound. Okay, cool. Uh, now the next young boy, like they gonna look past me again too, like. My, when my as my career is growing, I right, yo if this shit came from Staten too. Who's yeah. the next one? Who's the then next like up? now, now it's up to Staten Island now, mm. like to keep producing. And I'm gonna keep it a band. There's a lot of dope artists out there. So yeah. now it's like I feel like we're not taking over from New York because we are New York. That's yeah. the one thing we fought for as the Lost Borough yeah. to be remembered and to be acknowledged. Now we're acknowledged. So now it's time. Like it's basically like the city saying, "I right, we acknowledge y'all now." Mm. Okay, I, okay, bro, CJ, you put it on real quick, CJ. Now I'm about to help you slam dunk this shit, gang. Like, mm. I'm not about to go against you. I'm not about to do none of that right now because it's not personal. This yeah. is about New York City, and yeah. then this is about our borough, Staten America. Yeah. So now we got to put on. Yeah. So that's why I feel like 
what's happening right now. Like people want to see the story because people may not be believing it, or even if they are believing it, they mm. want to see what else is going. And as well as the the, mm. the 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 industry side of it. Like okay, cool. We heard we heard we heard Brooklyn yeah. scorch it. They still scorching it. Mm. Fabio, shout out Fabio, Ether, Swipey. All these guys, Swipey's on my record. That's going crazy. Yeah, right now. Yeah. So it was even. That's even even more a reason why it's like okay. How did how did that come about though? From like Brooklyn to Staten Island. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. Know what I mean, yeah. and I feel like it came, bro. Mm. When you put a comment on my post like Staten Island drill, uh. like you put that before yeah. that nobody was saying like yo Nizu Staten Island drill, like yeah. nobody, bro. Yeah. And it's like people were watching your platform as well, watching mm. what you're doing as well, like so like. Me and Swipey built a relationship through Franny's relationship that she has with him for her publicity side. Uh. So, like, I'm just being around supporting Franny. You know, Franny's, like, my partner and also my sister. So, uh. like, after our moms and pops passed, we put all of that, those smoking mirrors of we ain't family out the way. So, yeah. now we just together all the time. So, like, I'm, I built a genuine relationship with him. She the puffy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Franny get busy, bro. Like, I'm not, that's my mm. big sister. So, mm. it's like, yo, bro, I I don't get. I don't have no problems giving my sister credit. I don't have a problem giving nobody. Yo, what's, wait, hold on. Why well, don't? <laughs> hold on. Bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't that. try to do that. <laughs> you tried to do that sneaky. <laughs> so he, he brought the dad back. Like, like bro, with that shit been out of. We don't dance. We don't dab no more. We good shoulder. So like, I'm watching, boy. Number <laughs> cough. I'm gonna I'm throw the mask on. But yeah, I give credit to Fanny. She's a big sis. So mm. like, even if Fanny blew out of nowhere, bro, I'm gone. It's like that's my really my big sister. So like, mm. but like. Like besides that, Fanny don't want that that fame and that. Fanny been going hard. She up all night. Mm. She's even the reason why I'm here, mm. like and doing what I'm doing. So like together, I feel like I can't do it without her, and I don't think she could do the, what we're doing with mm. another artist. Of course, we're gonna break a lot, but this is our bond, bro. Dynamic. Like this is like like Shaq and Kobe right now. That's like a fact. that's how I feel, bro, and mm. that's why I I felt like I put her in the head into the bank back to back. Mm. So it's like it was a statement, like yo, listen, like. I don't need nobody, bro. Like yeah. this, is, like we did this, bro. That's like y'all bumming. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. All right, then cool. So let me. Um, all right, then. So I've been able to see the move. Some since um thing we did um all the way live at the beginning of the pandemic and stuff yeah, of that nature. Fact, since we've done that, you've told me she's told me like certain moves, and then they've all come to fruition and things of that nature. Um, what I want to know is like advice for younger rappers because i mean i, I mean because it seemed like you guys had a pretty clear cut and concise game plan of what was going yeah. to happen and what we were going to do um just how can somebody like that wants to rap or wants to come up from new york city or anything like that how can they how can they do something like that i'm gonna give you advice for life period like everything it starts off mentally like and that's period if you don't believe it you can't achieve it and that's not some like you may have heard that i've heard that when i was young and it just went over my head but that shit is like so serious like i heard a statement i said 95 percent of our illness is it doesn't even have to be considered man-made but it, it, it's not really a virus yeah five percent is genetics yeah. like so even in the five percent of the genetics get activated by what we think and what we eat mm. so like when you hear things like that, it's like, it kind of makes sense, bro. Like, mm. if I eat bad food, I'm going to feel bad. Mm. If I think bad, I'm going to do bad. Mm. My mom's, rest in peace to my mom's, when I, my head was rough, she used to make me get a cut, bro. Like, mm. yo, the way you moving is crazy. Mm. So, like, for years, bro, and this wasn't just, like, I, I think I've been self-practicing mind over matter before I knew what it was. Like, mm. even with pain, like, certain things, like, yeah, all right, bro, you, ain't, you don't need stitches, you can't cry. Like, certain things I've been teaching myself. So, like, for any younger artist, or any person that entrepreneur that's doing what they doing the day two if it's not an overnight success day two doesn't mean that you fell day two means that you need to go back to the blueprint get yourself a team because there's no there's nobody not me jay-z fabio nobody you in love with that done it by themselves. Mm. period mm. like period you may have got to a, a situation by yourself and then you needed a team a good strong team to elevate that situation so like, understand the field you're going into, understand that hip hop, rap, pop, singing is a form of entertainment. Don't think that you gotta go out here and throw away your life to rap about your life. Like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, fit it, understand where you fit in. So if you drop the record and you ain't blow right off of that record, it don't mean it's over. But now you gotta put in work. Don't keep moving like you the hottest thing and you just dropping records for, for your town. And I think that's where we went right. 
I didn't saturate the people with, with music that they didn't want to hear. Mm. So now when people going back, like, yo, he don't got 50 songs out that, okay, he's trash, because it's like, it's a subconscious thing. You see, I had 50 songs out in 2017, and you ain't hear about me. It's like, all right, bro, I shouldn't have heard about him. You get the one in the millions, but like, yeah, I got records out, but I, I feel like friend used to tell me all the time, yo, you don't drop enough music. Mm. And this is the first year that I've started dropping consecutively. Consistently. Consecutively. Uh, and yeah. like, well, like we bro, like we were two weeks in and I'm verified. And like to me, verified on Instagram doesn't mean I'm verified in life. It just mm. means it's a step to where I'm going, bro. Mm. Like it helps a couple of people open my, my DMs if I say, yo, what up? Mm. It shows that, yo, all of the years I put in, and the, me and Franny staying up nights, going to land, going different cities from LA, bro. Like moving back and forth is is working, bro. Because mm. I'm not gonna never take away from that blue check. Because when I didn't have it, I wanted it and I needed it and I understood the value of it. Mm. And like and, and and for branding purposes. Because if it wasn't that, bro, we wouldn't be doing it for anything. So I don't, I don't really like like when people sometimes try to like downplay other people's accolades and it's tying into like bro records it's a hundred and something now, million, all right, so the, million records like then, you gotta, now, you gotta right, acknowledge so, that bro. so the situation like what i've learned about that is um <clears throat> i've seen people like um you know what like mayno you know i've seen people try to like tear down like mayno or shit like that and i'm like yo like you haven't accomplished any like half of the shit but, he's like, accomplished. like even you with mayno bro like and like mm. i said like i've personally seen mayno mm. In multiple places now, bro. Mm. That ain't my friend, but he ain't yeah. the enemy. Yeah. And it's like, how do you tear Mano down yeah. when Mano came from a cell and, and never then, went back? <laughs> like, exactly. Like, I, yo, bro. Like, and it ain't like, like, like I said, I'm not speaking like, cause I don't want nobody to ever quote me somebody. Like, yo, look, I got this. I don't know about huh. Mano personal situation as far as like streetwise yeah. paperwork or anything like that. So if that come out, like that's something different. Huh. But as far as I know, I ain't never seen no paperwork on Mano or nothing. So he a stand up nigga huh. that did his time, came home and, and made, made it in the city. How could you like how could you people, hit like, like people tear down anything? That, when I seen that, that's when I was like, and that's yeah, when I like so I, I get why so people like, now I'm yeah. here to say like yo I'm a young nigga and I'm showing respect mm. to everybody, not just the OGs. Like yo mm. bro, if you around me, and you mm. eating salute, bro. Mm. Like because bro, we could easily kill each other. That's mm. easy. Yeah, it's proven like with yeah. the senseless violence that everybody Happens doing. Every like, day, yeah. So like it's harder to be like yo bro, no homo, you look fly, gang. Yeah. Like oh word. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate bro, I be it. breaking yeah. the ice with niggas like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Them shit is fire. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, yo, bro, word. Yo, I, look, bro, I appreciate bro, it. Gang, I got, and it's like, yo, bro, because it's like, yo, bro, not, no cap, bro. Mm. I'm speaking from like, bro, I, I'm not the realest nigga. I'm not a gangster. I won't mm. claim that. But like, bro, I don't wake up wanting to die, bro. <laughs> or wanting to just kill somebody. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so it's like with that being said, bro, sometimes we want to have fun, bro. Mm. And like fun don't always just mean like going somewhere. Like I could just see you and just want to have a good time. Like yo, I went to that spot. I was just vibing, bro. Like mm. nobody was on bullshit. I know everybody could relate to that. Them came home from a party or a house party that you thought in the beginning. Like, no, there's going to be some shit, but I'm some going. Bullshit, and then yeah. came home and was like, nah, everybody was vibing. Uh, that. Drinking. Uh, and a good song. You, you think about it like yo, it wasn't even. It was like mm. 50 people only, and like, and, and it's like, yo, bro, mm. coming back from L.A., mm. like, a lot of those, I used to go to a lot of events that was just love, bro, mm. in L.A., West Coast, like, and it's like, I felt like if I could get to a certain point and implement, like, we don't got to be sweet, bro, we ain't nothing sweet about me, bro, but like, I ain't got you, I ain't an enemy of yours, bro, until, until yeah. I do something that yeah. you feel like I did bad, or... Yeah. Or, or you do something, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, we don't have to walk in the room immediately on Beef. smoke, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> And that's what Brooklyn, Pop, Fabio, all of them niggas proved in front of us, bro. Yeah. They got in there, bro. They ain't passed the torch because passing the torch is sitting down like, yeah. oh, I'm done. Yeah. Why the shit was yeah. hot? They was like, yo, gang, 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 yeah. gang. That's where that gang, gang, gang comes mm -hmm. from, bro. Because like, it's like, like, think about it. Yo, a nigga walk in the room. Yo, gang, gang. Gang, mm. gang, gang, gang. That's what they started doing. Wow, boom, I'm bringing the gang in the room. Mm. And that's what we're going to do for Staten as well, bro. And I hope, like me, when CJ see this, he understand that, bro. Mm. And keep it that way. Like, keep smoking, mm. keep doing what you're doing. Mm. And then also realize what we got to do to elevate and both ourselves. Or oh, this shit will be, you know what I mean? That's a fact. All right, then. So while you on this road, all right, then. So you have the, um, the first two singles and stuff like that. Is it, are you prepping for something? Or is it more singles to come? Oh yeah, nah. Um, well, we got the project self-titled Two Four One, and I think like the next single we gonna drop is is um FDDA, mm. like 
That record is crazy, bro. We got the lead video being made right now. Mm. It's gonna be like on the Vivo channel. I don't know exact date, but like after that record, the project, I'm, I'm pretty sure like we probably throw like something else out, but the project will come after that because FDDA is about to shake the block, bro. Oh. And I like that record is like for both sides, like both Republicans and Democrats <laughs> gonna feel the way and they gonna, they gonna embrace it. And it's not just like because it says FDDA, like that's a real record mm. and it's, it's already like kind of leaked like midwest mm. so and they going crazy they don't even know where i'm from they like it was going on like mm. so i feel like it like one of the lines i said in there i said yo i really know the feeling to have no ceilings not not the roof of the car i mean no place to live in no regrets for my decision bro when this drop bro like mm. just that bar people be quoting back that heard that like wait no ceilings regrets for all right cool mm. like i'm talking to the people and, and it's like, I'm putting a, like, a voice to like, fuck the judge, fuck the DA, fuck the president. Like, mm. like fuck all y'all, bro. Like, mm. like, and, and like, and not in a literal sense, like, yo, bro, I wanna fight them. It's mm. like a turn of like, yo, bro, we don't know who's for what. Like, we gotta sit back and wait. Like, so you know you what don't, I'm saying? So you don't worry about backlash or not? Nah, because it's not like, I'm I'm not saying fuck Trump. I'm not saying fuck Biden. Mm. I'm just saying like, the, the, the thought of that position, like, mm. man, Fuck it either way. I'm gonna do me. Like mm. that's what I'm saying. Like, like, bro, we don't get caught up in politics if you're not a politician. Like, mm. worry about doing great in life, mm. and then the president gonna be the president. Mm. Because, like, if we like, not to say we don't have a choice, because we clearly show that. Mm. But like, whether the president is blue on the blue or the red side, you still got to be a great person. Like, mm -hmm. you still got to go out and take initiative. Gotta you still got to take your platform yeah. Yeah. and elevate it but, and, and bring it to a point where the tax cuts even matter. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's really the angle of the song. Like, it's, it's like, yo, bro, don't get caught up mm -hmm. screaming like, again, like, my president's black quotes like that and you just still in the hood screaming at Like, my yeah. president's black. Yeah. And then what? Make you know what I'm mean, saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. okay, great. We know that, bro. Now take it. So like, that's the whole turn. Don't get caught up in politicians if mm. you're not a if no, politics. If you're not a politician, mm. worry about what you doing in real life. Worry about your family and worry about getting to your bag. Like, mm. worry about everybody that's around you, and then worry about that when you good. When you good and you able to, to like really care about if. 20% more taxes come out of your check or, or don't then that's yeah, when you that's become you worry about the you become a party, party bro yeah, like yeah. yo what's going yeah, on over yeah, here yeah. alright man I'm feeling real Republican today yeah, I'm, I'm worth a million dollars yeah. wait you gonna take how much yeah, alright yeah. that's when and, and that's what like that's what I want people to understand when they start talking to me like I'm not a, I don't really even understand politics a lot but what I did my pops rest in peace to them taught mm. me was that politics is not for people it's for situations mm. so like it's just up to to have a, a good person that represents that party. Yeah. But in the same sense, it's like, yo, when you reach a certain stature, mm -hmm. let's say like the the Republicans is going. This is all hypothetically because I don't know. Like the Republicans is like, yo, we want you. We want to have taxes at ten percent, mm -hmm. and the Democrats is like, yo, we want to take thirty. Yeah. If you're worth ten million, yeah. and you earned your way to ten million at that point. You're gonna side with like I, I listen. Wait, I'm who's rich? Yeah, yeah. It's not about black or white. It's not about like wrong or right. It's kind of in the lamest term like rich or poor. Yeah. So it's like, bro, until That's you. What and, Dave Chappelle said he yeah. was like when he seen all the white people were like, hey, Trump is going to help us. He was like, no, he's not. He's going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, <laughs> this is what I'm saying, and it's like. I don't get into it because it's not, I won't say I can't change it, but it's like, I'm not, yo, bro, if, like, I'm getting there now, yeah. like, to where, like, maybe the next election, mm. I might have a say, like, and, and what I'm doing, like, because mm. it, it's going to affect me, like, yeah. okay, bro, they talking about now taxes, you're gonna, now you're gonna start reading up it. and stuff, we just got yeah. it, Fanny. like, what yeah. we doing, they trying to take like it, I said, bro, like, I, I think people need to go back, yeah, we got social media, YouTube, mm. and all hip hop New York, where y'all just watching stuff, but mm. people need to keep religion and politics and close doors and leave that for the, like the, the the media people like yourself to mm. discuss bro mm. the comment section but like i feel like us as the artists bro mm. like we don't need to answer those questions like we're politicians because we're not bro mm. like we're just we're just now in the mass of the public and mm. we're speaking we don't need to put out and make the mistake that trump made too as well putting mm. your opinion out 
to the world and affecting people and people living in, and dying by that opinion because they're a fan of yours. So mm. keep politicians, all 2021 politics and religion, keep okay. that. So as an, as, an, as an artist, what do you feel like your responsibility is? I feel like my responsibility as an artist, first and foremost, is to entertain. Like, uh. And that's first and foremost. Like, like, if I'm not entertaining you, then it's, you don't want to watch me. Like, yeah. The, the, like that's my job. Like entertainment business. Like mm. so that that's what I feel like as an artist. Now the second thing that I feel like for me as an artist is taking care of my family. Like okay, is this something I'm doing that's gonna be prosperous or should I go and take my ass to work and <laughs> and work and help my family? Like yeah. all right, yeah, it's prosperous. The third thing I think is is putting out a message that you're gonna stand behind mm. when somebody questions it like yourself. Like, so what did you mean by this? Yeah. And have have a valid. It don't. It may not be your story, but at least be able to say, yo, that was my man D story. He told me about. It. I was there. I seen it, and this is what I took from it. Mm. Because like 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 I said, I'm just I'm just displaying a visual to you. I'm saying I'm using my words to paint a picture. Mm. So it don't have to be my my story i could have been there i could have heard it and i could have interpreted the mm. same way they have directors and writers of movies people write the movie mm. and then somebody like freddie come in and see a vision direct it mm. so like you might write your movie mm. tell me your movie yeah. and i'm gonna direct it through my voice and my so like yeah, that's uh -huh. why i said entertaining entertainment is first because like that's what i want to do i want to entertain you i want you to be entertained like and of course, like I do think, like it, like it, it is a responsibility of us to be conscious mm. of what we're saying and what we're doing. But I, I don't think it's up to us, like, to, to, sh like, like, um, what is it like, censor mm. what we, what we doing because that's thoughts. what people love and people relate to. So like that's why you have parental advisories, you have all mm. of those things that people get paid millions of dollars that they created for. Mm. So like. We're not gonna go further into that with the parenting, but like, mm. it's not it's not an artist's point to teach through his music mm. if he's not. If he's I mean, not you said like, uh, what you call it. Cardi says to this day her, she don't think her daughter ever heard wow. like the um thing. Yeah, like, her yeah, sense of version of wop. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. And it's like, how could you get mad? Yeah, nah, people. Like, I've seen people as, get mad. Like, like yeah. that's what I'm saying, yeah. bro. You mean to tell me that all the Cardi streams? My fault, bro. All the Cardi streams mm. is from kids. Yeah, like come on, get out of here, bro. There's there's over a billion adults that can listen to Cardi B yeah. that should be listening to the Cardi, Cardi B. B. Why? Yeah. And and she's right to say like, yeah, my daughter's never listened to it because she shouldn't, and neither should your kids. eight year old daughter, <laughs> twelve year old, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and etc. Like, yeah. so she's not wrong, bro. We're adults. We love Cardi B. Yeah. We listen to Cardi B, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying like. I couldn't listen to Genuine My Pony when I was little, bro, because he was talking about grinding. My mom's like, yo, and I'm like, I used to, I used to, yo, bro, I used to hit my mom's like, ain't that a post where I'm supposed to be getting? Like, and she'd be like, not yet. But like I said, bro, like Cardi is not wrong for making that statement. She shouldn't be bashed. Nothing she did was wrong. She's being a parent. She's being a parent, and I think it's even harder for her because she's in the line. Like she is putting out these records. It's her song. It's her song. Oh, yeah, her song. I'm pretty sure when her yeah. daughter starts she speaking. Can and, yeah, and she mommy well why yeah. are you like you know what i'm yeah. saying so it's like at the end of the day she's gonna have to put her foot down she's from new york mm -hmm. like she gone through and be like mm -hmm. that's what get mommy paid and that's for adults that's a fact so she's entertaining adults yeah. cardi never was for, supposed for to be <laughs> for when prior to her music was cardi entertaining Ch children no no, no. no 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 so it's like she's an adult yo she's telling y'all right <laughs> there yeah. And I think she should get applauded for saying that mm. because now she's saying, hey, parents, make sure y'all don't let your kids. She's stopping this. streams, bro. She's a boss for that. She's yeah. stopping streams. Like, yo, t make sure your kids don't hear this. Like, I'm saying, like, mm. it's respected. Why bash it? But people going to do what they want to do, bro. Like, so They're going to say whatever. All right. So um, definitely, like, helping usher in the new school and stuff like that. Usually we ask who your top five that are alive. But I want to know who your top five of the new school. With like R and B artists, artists, no rappers. All time, like yeah. right no now. rappers, yeah, no like new school. Who are you who, right who now? Are you? Like, yes, who are your top five right now? Um, Lil Uzi, mm. um, obviously Fabio, bro, mm. from the city, mm. like, and he carrying it. I can't say pop because like he's he's dead, mm. but like. Get out. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yo, pop gotta be there, bro. Like, yeah, so like that's obvious, and that's not a cliche answer. Like, yeah, nah. If like, you listen like, to High ninety seven, you know, like, that's not. It's <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Um. 
Um, I want to go like, like I'm trying to think who's in my playlist, like who mm-hmm. I listen to. All right, so like, we got three so far. We got three. Mm, two more. Um, who? Yeah, Bankroll. <laughs> That's funny, bro, because I definitely been listening to Bankroll. My son Bankroll Bunner. Mm. Bankroll Bunner. Like that Wu song. I don't know if you ever heard that mm. shit. Like, Wu baby, I'm about to make me a Wu baby. Yeah, I'm listening to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bankroll Bunner. I definitely listen to Bankroll Bunner. No cap. Um. Drake obviously, but like we don't we don't name Drake. I mean, yeah, Drake ain't new. No, we can't, yeah, we can't, yeah. We can't Drake name decade, Drake. Yeah, we yeah. talking about new. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to name somebody that's like not like, mm-hmm. like um that I really yeah, bankroll wasn't on it. Bankroll, I definitely listen to him. Um, damn, bro. You got one more. Friend, help me. Fresh. <laughs> Cause I really be listening to myself a lot, just mm-hmm. to like, mm-hmm. like craft it, mm-hmm. like, I'm t- bro. Oh yeah, Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Shout out to Rod Wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. You're the baby, yeah. but these is not new. Like, I don't Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Count as new. Rod I count Rod as new. So Rod, if if yeah. you count him as new, he's definitely okay. in the top five. So, right all right. So who we have? We have Uzi. We have Five. We have. But Uzi's Pop. not new. Then. Uzi ain't a, a decade. School. Yeah, he's he kind of new school. school yeah, he, he kind of went. Yeah, yeah. So I go. No, so no. we had Uzi, we had Pop, we had Fabio, uh, Bankroll, Bankroll Burner, Bankroll Bunner. Bunner. All right, because I heard of Bankroll. Right. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? But is it the same team? They associated? Um, nah. Bankroll Bunner, like my little buzzing put me on from Brownsville to oh, like uh, like Brownsville. months ago. But like I said, this is like right now, like who I'm listening to. Like not my top five. No, Wonder, you heard that? I don't know everybody from Brooklyn. <laughs> That's crazy. He said, nah, he said, he, cause he said, he, he was like, yo, if a nigga from Brooklyn burp on the track, you know him. <laughs> yeah, but now <laughs> he, he know, to, now he know him. Yeah, now, like now I said, bro, him. like, I don't, I don't personally know Bunner right now. No, 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 but like, it's like, like I'm, I'm knowing sure know of each other yeah, and yeah. shit, like, the That's same way. But mm-hmm. like, like, my little buzzing, my little buzzing, Bishop Booming, like, mm-hmm. they know his name and they know who he is. Like, so, um, so what is the biggest lesson you've learned so far with being like in the industry? In the industry, bro. I learned that it really is a business, bro. Don't take anything personal. Like like that, like certain quotes that people used to say, like that went over your head, like it's don't take it make personal. Sense now. Like it <laughs> really makes sense because it's like, yo, bro, like I know you mm. personally now, mm-hmm. like mm. over me trying to, like just building, bro, being outside, being whatever, however, bro, all the way live, mm. how we got to it. But if it don't make sense mm. for this platform, it don't make sense. Mm. So now if I asked you, mm. Eight months ago, yo, stop, holla at Wonder, help me. Yeah. It don't make sense. So if you, like, yo, this, like, yo not right now. Yeah. Yo, yo fuck the slide. Yeah. <laughs> like, now I'm taking it yeah. emotional. Like, yeah, look yeah, at him yeah, emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I'm supposed to, all right, now don't take it personal. personal. Yeah, all right, yo, like, gang, like, I'm listen, make sure I'm I know, I know yeah. the door is still open. Yeah. Because I'm going to just work harder, and eventually it's going to be that point. So, like, that's what I really learned. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it a band. There's some things that I did. Like, bro, I've done big features mm-hmm. that never got cleared. Mm-hmm. Like, and to me, it was, like, personal because, like, nigga, I didn't meet you. Like, I'm not in the industry. I met you on some street shit. We did mm-hmm. it. Yeah. We got it. You was all for it. Like, mm-hmm. this could change my life. Yeah. Like, yo, why are you doing this? Why then, you like, like, some, yeah. yo, little homie, listen, I got new management. I got this, that. I ain't understand it. And it's like, yo, bro, nah, like, I'm taking it personal. Yo, I see you as lit. Like, mm. but now, like, going through it, bro, I'm even having to do it with certain situations. Like, yo, bro, like, no disrespect. Oh, like, you're that guy oh, now. No, no. Yeah. Like, I've been that guy. I'm <laughs> no, I mean, I'm but lit. I know, no, I mean, but I like, mean it that way, but you're the guy, like, no, but like can't, can't, gotta clear it first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that's why, like, like I said, like, mm. once you hit after the EA, like, it's a major line in there. Like, I told Fendi I did the verse, but she ain't clearing it yeah. because it's like, yo, it's a brand right now. Everything mm. we working for, like, 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 like all hip hop. I'm on allhiphop.com mm-hmm. right now, right? Yeah. That means y'all supporting what I'm doing. So yeah. if I go and put some day room, dude around me to do something, yeah. it can now trickle down to bad streams. Now you end up pulling the video off the feed, mm-hmm. like anything. So now I gotta watch what's around me. Like mm-hmm. so like my records, I gotta hold tight because I could do a song with you right now, say don't put it out, and then you put it out mm-hmm. while I'm in the midst of a rollout or something going on. Yeah. So it's like, I be to, to eliminate that, bro, anybody that's really close to me and that's true to me and that want to see me win, that's been supporting, they know when it's time is time. Yeah. But right now, bro, let, let me build the foundation and do what we're doing. Like, mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Before we get you out of here, is there anything that people should know or get ready for or you know, um, like that? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. people should get ready for another healthy year of New York City music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They should look 
forward to a gang of collaborations between Staten Island and Brooklyn and Queens and the Bronx and, uh -huh. and worldwide. They should look for Nizzle Man to bridge the gap internationally with the Justine, the Valentine fans and, and the, the worldwide national. Bro, I was just in Brazil. Like, my memory came up last year in Brazil with Tiger. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to bring the West Coast back to the East Coast. My bros in the West Coast asked me to come back. Like, come, yo, bro, when you coming back? So it's like, I feel like it's about to get live again. Like, like it's lit. Like, it's definitely something to watch. It's yeah. definitely going to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a story behind it. It's definitely pain. I got new merch coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Check the website out, mm -hmm. officialnizzle.com. And, like, that's it. I just feel like stay tuned. Like, big features mm -hmm. coming. Make sure y'all stream his new single with Swipey right now. It's out. Yeah. Head into the bank, right? Head into the bank. It's head out. Head into the bank, man. Go to Vivo, too. Go watch the video. Drop a comment. Let him know where you where, where you heard it first at and where you heard it from. That's yeah, a man. fact, man. Mm. Once again, it's your man Slap Shot you. Bow. Here for allhiphop.com. Corner One World Studios. Boy. So you check my man Nizzle out. You know what's up. Appreciate you. You know how I rock. We can have it. And we out. Bow.